What up guys, it's Massey, back with another Monster Closet video. I know it's been a minute, been a whole lot of stuff going on guys. Uh, this weekend was a real emotional one uh, with my mother's passing. Just to give you guys an idea of kind of what I've been dealing with, why the videos haven't really been there. We're back now, uh, we'll get some more regular content going. There's a couple things, I know we had a huge weekend in gaming, so there's a couple things that I wanted to go over. The first thing, I'm not really going to talk about the Switch much. Um, the Switch just, it is what it is. Um, you either like it, you don't like it, you're in the middle. Kind of in the middle. Um, I don't believe that uh, console is going to do very good, but I hope it does. We'll see where it goes. Uh, the biggest thing I want to talk about first, Breath of the Wild. I've been having a blast with this game. Um... The amiibo support is really good, and you know it's going to be a huge part of this game too. It's going to, I think, it's going to help increase the uh, amiibo value if Nintendo continues to do this with with all of their games. Um, this game is supported by all amiibos, so if you're one of those guys like me that have a huge amiibo collection, all your amiibos will give you something. Uh, but the Legend of Zelda ones specifically give you a little bit more. Uh, each one includes a chest. Now, if you have the Breath of the Wild Amiibos, I mean, chances are the only way you get them is really if you pre-ordered them. Uh, these guys will each give you uh, different things. I don't remember what this guy gives. It's like sword or and a chest. So he gives a bunch of stuff. And all these arms are fully articulated. You can go crazy with them. If you wanted to. This is one of the guardians, I believe. Uh, in the game, they activate and... They have like a, a laser in the front here that will kill you in one shot early game. So stay away from them. The amiibo is really cool though. I got him. We've got one of the little imp dudes. He's pretty cool. Uh, he gives you a spear that, uh, not like the normal spears. These these ones will have bones on the end. They're a little bit more durable, do a little bit more damage. Really good for early game. Uh, what else I got here? I've got the archer. Uh, this one's really cool, too. He will give you a paladin bow. A lot of durability, and he'll give you ice arrows, which is really, really cool. And all these will give a chest with more items. And they give, like, food items and stuff. You can use them once per day. Um, I have the rider link. He will... This one gives you, like, the harness for the horse uh, and the saddle. I don't know what to do with those yet. I just got them. So, yeah, I presume you use them on a horse. I just haven't got a horse you keep permanently yet. Uh, and I'll get to that statement in a moment. Uh, and I think there's one more in here. Where is Zelda? I think somewhere. Oh, I've got her. Oh, there she is. Okay. And uh, here is Zelda. Um, again, she gives you something in the game. I just don't remember. Bunch of different items, crafting items, and food. Definitely worth it to have these. If you guys spot these in retail, buy them. They're worth it. 8-Bit uh, Link will give you um, a sword and a chest and a bunch of like random food items. Smash Link will give you Epona. Um, and yes, Epona that you can ride. So it's not just like a cool item in your inventory. It's a horse. It is Epona. You can ride it. It's pretty cool. Uh, you also get, if you have this amiibo from Twilight Princess, this will give you a wolf companion. Now the wolf companion has like 10 hearts. It'll fight alongside of you. It will actually sniff out the dungeons for you and lead you directly to them. Uh, really cool. And it is uh, in the game. It's called Wolf Link. So it is. it just looks exactly like this wolf. Uh, but if you go into a dungeon, you will lose the wolf. And uh, remember, you can only scan this once per day. Uh, let's see. Sheik gives you a shield uh, that's compatible to the night shield. Or comparable to it um, it's got high durability and has a uh, chic symbol if you can see it, on the shield itself 
Uh, Toon Link. This was a two pack that came with this one. And uh, I don't remember what they give specifically. But I know all these will give you a chest with random items and lots of food. And like you'll never have to forage for food. This stuff will just give you food all day. Uh, all the other non Zelda related amiibos will also give you random crafting material, items, rupees, and lots of food. Again, you, you'll just never run out of food. Uh, there's the Ocarina Link. Uh, he gives you something cool too, I just don't remember. A, a chest plus some other special items, I don't remember. Then we have Toon Link. He again, chest, random items. I believe he gives a uh, shield, a pellet and shield. And then we have Smash Zelda. And I don't remember what she is. I know a chest. I know definitely a chest. So I take all these aside. I haven't played it so much. I just set these aside. What you say? Mm, that you only meant well. Small technical difficulty there caused something to happen. I'm not sure what. Uh, I fixed it though. I think. Oh. Anyway. Um, I keep these aside because I'm playing the game so often. I think right now I'm on the sixth dungeon in the second area. Um, so I keep these aside just so I can get at them pretty easily. And then I have all my other amiibos too, but you really won't use more than these because you just get a ton of items from them. Uh, but right now, guys, if you can pick up any Zelda amiibos at retail, do it. This game is huge. And, like, I've heard people are having problems finding it on the Wii U. Uh, people are having problems finding it on the Switch. So, pick it up as soon as you can. I have mine pre-order. I had all this stuff pre-ordered. Uh, pre-ordering is not dumb. Pre-order. What it's there for. If you don't pre-order, you shouldn't complain about not having the game. If you pre-order it, they'll send enough. Get it. I know you guys don't like the GameStop stuff. But, sometimes you gotta give in. Just so you can get the game or the console, whatever you want. Um, I also bought the Collector's Edition Strat Guide. Uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, I haven't used it yet. I'm trying to go through it the most I can without having to, to get into the strategy guide. But they, they definitely, I tell you, this reminds me of Ocarina of Time a lot. They do not hold your hand in this game at all. So, um, certainly it's been been a lot of fun. I enjoyed the the second thing I wanted to talk about a little bit was it's coming out I believe on the 21st, which will be Mass Effect. And I know that's a huge game. I love the pops. I mean all kinds of pops. Um this is the Sarah Ryder. Uh, I don't know if she's like the main protagonist in the game. I haven't done much reading on it to be frank. I've been kind of saving it like to play it. Of course, we'll do some walkthroughs. I don't know if I'm going to get it on PC or P PS4. Probably PC if I can. Um, there's a pack that I'm getting with the PS4. If that can't be transferred to the PC, then I'll probably just play it on PS4 and do some gameplays. Uh, that's coming out on the 21st. It's going to be huge. Um, as far as pops available, some of the characters are uh, PB with gun. Uh, then there's PB. So PB with gun might be the chase. Um, that's an Ansari, uh, Jal, who looks like, I don't know what race he is. Um, so they have three different Sarah Riders. They have Sarah Rider, Sarah Rider in this costume without the mask, with the mask, and then a N7 outfit. Um, so yeah, this should be pretty cool. Um, I'm looking forward to... A lot of the big games coming out this month. I know it's been a huge month for gaming so far. I I don't know if I'll make any Breath of the Wild videos. Um, Nintendo might put the hammer down on it really quick. I don't know. We 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 try not to post a lot of Nintendo stuff on Monster Closet until you know. I'll talk to Rick and see if he wants to do the silly um the whatever where you can create the content but we're here at monster closet we tend to be really critical of nintendo um i know we have some some hardcore nintendo followers 
And I just want to convey, when we're talking about Nintendo, we haven't kicked your puppy. We're, we're taking a critical look at Nintendo itself. So if I say there's something about Nintendo I didn't like, I didn't personally insult you. I'm talking about Nintendo. If you take that as a personal insult, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe there needs a separation between church and state there or something. I'm not sure. But uh, rest assured, we, we all love Nintendo too at the same time. There's a lot of stuff about Nintendo that everybody likes. I love my Wii U. I love all the games I have for the Wii U. I obviously have a huge collection of Amiibos. So we feel when we buy this heavily into stuff, we have a right to have an opinion of it. So that's at least what I wanted to bring you guys for now. Just a short little video. Um, and then we'll get some more gameplay up maybe later tonight. Uh, and then hopefully we'll, we'll get some, uh, more feedback on the Switch as the time comes and more games announced and, uh, we'll go from there. So again, thanks for tuning in everybody and we'll see you again next time.